So if you want to run 35 inch tires on your Jeep JL specifically, but this would mostly pertain to pretty much any Jeep ever, and you want to run a full size spare, which I mean, come on, who wouldn't run a full size spare? We all know we've seen that person that runs a lift and wheels and tires without the full size spare. Sometimes that added wheel and tire can be just a little bit pricey. And you're definitely going to need to invest in a very good and high quality spare tire extension bracket. Thanks for the uh, interruption in the vlog, dude. <laughs> so to anybody that follows our other YouTube channel, this is one of those little Easter eggs that I probably won't publish on that channel just because it's happening right now and we're filming right now. We're not going to film this for the other YouTube channel. My best friend and also uh, the guy that works for me, Jake, he put the wheels on our giveaway truck backwards. And I just realized now because one of you actually mentioned something online. So hey, thanks for letting us know. I appreciate it. He's in the process of switching them back. Now we have evidence, dude. Not like it's evident from every single Instagram post that's up right now. You look just so discouraged right now. Leave me alone! Thanks, man. Can't disrespect a whirly hat. No. Nah. So, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be installing the Rough Country 35-inch adapter bracket to the tailgate on our white 2019 JLU project. It is actually the exact same one that is on our 2019 Doors Off giveaway number one Jeep. Now, mind you guys, if you're new to this YouTube channel, we're giving this Jeep away. The giveaway ends July 23rd, and right now, four times entries have made a return. They were available in the beginning of the giveaway, and yes, they are back. So if you want to add a multiplier to your odds of taking this thing home, well, you might want to get entered. $10,000 cash on top of this thing, too. So here you can see a quick before and then after, which is kind of neat to see side-by-side -side comparison, which we don't have available all the time. So today, we're going to be removing the spare tire. We're going to be taking off our current stock bracket. We're going to be making necessary adjustments, and our end scenario will look just like that. This Rough Country bracket is not only affordable, but it does a great job. That's why we're doing it on our white Jeep as well. And if you guys missed the last upload, we had actually updated the LEDs on our white Wrangler to what are on dog number one as well, because come on, it just looks so sick. So we have the stock bracket removed. It's a really simple process, eight bolt, as you saw. What we need to do now is actually make some adjustments to the third brake light location. What you can do is actually just utilize this factory bracket. Those two bolts right there are actually going to both come out. This whole bracket assembly that I'm holding on to, you can see where it's separate right there, will slide up. You'll only reutilize two of those bolts, but you'll actually get a little bit of clearance because you need that clearance because right now, if you put the 35 on, you actually wouldn't be able to see your tail light, whereas we're shooting for that right there. Our end goal is going to look just like this. You can see it is disconnected there, one bolt holding it in, and we have clearance very, very nicely for our third brake light. Otherwise, it'd be something like that. And we don't want that. We've extended that third brake light bracket up. It's literally that simple. And you can kind of see both bolts in there. Empty holes bottom, build holes top. Completely good. It's super sturdy, no problem at all. Now we're actually going to take the bracket and install it and then install the factory spare tire bracket on the extension bracket. <laughs> So in the matter of a few minutes, of course with a helping hand that always makes things faster, you are ready to rock for your up and coming 35s or if you have 35s already in your presence, and you can see it really fills out nice just to have that adjustability, that small amount of adjustability in the factory bracket to accommodate a 35 is really, really nice. There you can see the difference. 55 stock Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain versus of course our nice meaty Toyo MT open countries. You get set up and ready to rock and roll. And of course that kind of gives away the direction we're going with our second 2019 JLU that just so happens to be in a different color. So that's literally all we have for you guys today. We just kind of wanted to make that quick video for anybody that's considering doing 35s. We also have another test coming up related to the 35 inch tire, which we're really, really, really excited about. So you definitely want to stay tuned. And if you're relatively new to the channel, you're into Jeep stuff, and you like tinkering around with a bunch of products like we've been doing so far on this channel, you should definitely consider tapping that subscribe button. I don't think we're that far away from 10,000 subscribers. As always, we appreciate the support to my OGs from my other channel. Yo, I love you guys thanks for chilling out on this new project this new adventure and doing big things with us we really appreciate that grab some entries for doors off giveaway number one it is ending in just about a week and a half's time guys before you know it it's gonna be over that being said see y'all in the next upload